It's that time of the week again. We're baking a pattern Swiss roll cake. Yeah, in honour of the Great British Bake Off. No, it's not series. in honour of the Great it British is, Bake Off. For our Swiss roll, we need two things. One, an artistic licence. Two, somebody can cook stuff. And we're going to do this next section in exactly <laughs> seconds. In three, two, one. I'm making the decorative mix to pipe onto his stencil. You'll need one egg, but just the white, so separate it out, you don't need the yolk at the moment. Then white sugar, caster sugar, 30 grams, some melted butter, and plain flour. Plenty of pink food colouring, and then whisk the whole thing together into a paste. Transfer it to a piping bag, and we're ready for him. This is gonna kinda of act as our stencil for the cake. I'm not gonna lie, I'm making Ben's life quite complicated, because he's gonna have to go around and pipe all the bits and pieces afterwards, but you know, that's 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 his problem. Huh? Nothing. One thing Ben is not known for is his steady hand. He has the shakes at the best of times, so this is gonna be the uh, trickiest thing I think he's ever had to do. It does look a bit of a mess at the moment, but trust us, when we're done, it's gonna look incredible. Isn't that right, Ben? I hope so. At this stage, it goes into a freezer for at least 30 minutes to freeze up solid. Can you be a bit more convinced than that, please? It'll work. If we're going to pause halfway through, you've got to stop the clock. Now before Ben shows you how to make the sponge to put your roll cake into, we wanted to tell you about what else we've been up to around the web this week. More baking. We made some awesome cupcakes. And these are apple and cinnamon spiced cupcakes with an apple compote and a vanilla buttercream. Wow. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, fish curry. Which was an absolute delight, something we did on Tuesday in yes. celebration of the Curry Night chapter from our new cookbook, Food with Friends. It's actually the last chapter from the ebook to be released. The ninth, well, it's actually the fourth one if you buy them collectively, but it is the ninth one we've launched. Back to head against this. <laughs> the point is, if you've been paying attention, we've had nine weeks, it's nine not different. Well, I just want them to make sure they haven't <laughs> missed out. Nine different chapters. Nine different recipes, each inspired by a chapter, uh, and you can check out all of those videos. Plus, you can go and download each chapter individually for just yes. a small amount. Small amount, or you can buy the whole book together for a bigger amount, but smaller than if you bought all of the chapters individually. Ben, can I talk about At The Source now? Please do. Mike and I went to a farm that was actually in London in a shop. I have never seen Mike get so excited. The live bacteria from the aquaponic system break down the waste from the fish. Plus, we've gone one step beyond this week with our ultimate series. We've done the ultimate English breakfast pie. Yes, both of those things combined and we put it to the test as some ultimate taste testers, a bunch of builders. Now, can I get my bake back on? No, oh, if you have to. Stop the clock. Why? To make the perfect sponge to go onto our decorative piping, we need to separate out four eggs. Mix the whites with half the sugar and a pinch of cream tartar, and the yolks with the other half of the sugar until combined. Fold the two together and mix in the flour and melted butter. The melted butter makes this perfect. Spread it on top of your frozen piping mixture, and then into the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about six or seven minutes. With the sponge cooked, you now need to transfer it onto a sugared piece of paper and peel it back for the big reveal. To finish the roll, you need to turn it over, spread jam onto this side, followed by cream, and then roll it up, making sure your pattern two-thirds is the last part of the roll. No dish is complete without the necessary garnish. A sprig of mint, of course. Whoa! Whoa! How have you done that? My baking, Barry's artwork, Voila! It's like the perfect team. Oh, Mike, Mike's camera work? That too. And my good looks? That too. Really good. And pretty too. Mm. We've got Barry to thank for that. Barry is a very pretty boy, isn't he? He is a bit of a pretty boy, especially when it comes to his artwork. That was a bit of a weird ending. But didn't it taste good? Before we go, there is something really exciting that I want to tell you about. Next Friday, there isn't going to be a recipe video. I did that game. Calm down. Better than that. There's going to be a teaser for a new trailer, for a new series that's coming out in two weeks' time. I've seen some of the edits. It's it looks, I'm not going to tell you what it's called, but it looks amazing. What is sure. particularly brilliant is that it's got loads of extras. Like like ex like people in the background. The no, people, extra people. content, which we're going to be putting up on places like Pinterest, Tumblr, Tumblr? and Instagram. Are you saying we have a Tumblr account? You should know, you set it up. 
But this new series is an excuse for us to create new content. So you have to go and follow us on Tumblr. Uh, make sure you're tagged into our Pinterest wall and follow us on Instagram so that you can get all the extras that what? Well, first of all, you have to. It's a rule. Fact. And secondly, what's a Pinterest wall? Board. Ben doesn't do the social media type stuff, he just cooking. Your homework this week is to go and follow us on all it's those not platforms it's not so school. that when the new series starts, not, you no, can no, enjoy it. No, it's it. not school. As you were. You ready? Yes. Right. We have a Tumblr. A Tumblr? No, I know we have a Tumblr. Why am I being surprised <laughs> by that? <laughs> the point is, have you guys been paying attention? Have you watched all nine <laughs> of the last two... Tuesday- it's school. It's not school, is it? Have you been paying attention? Um, hey, I look a bit pale. Let me know if that comes across as negative.